Good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yori Folani. Um, well, let's go to the sort of the judiciary, the political landscape. I'm talking about the situation over in Akwa Ibom, where um, a senator, sitting senator, Basi Albert Akman, uh, has actually been ousted, shall we say, properly ousted by the courts. Um, because, um, well, the senator representing um, Uyo Senatorial District had his election nullified uh, well, the day before yesterday or yesterday? The, the news broke yesterday. But uh, here we are. Um, his compatriot, his brother, uh, another Basi, only this time Basi Etim. So Basi Etim uh, complained about Basi Akman and Justice Ritman uh, Fatum has held that uh, indeed he was not duly elected. Okay, so uh, there are implications to all of that, of course. So the judge has ordered um, that INEC should issue a fresh certificate of returns, uh, change it from uh, Basi Akman to Basi Etim. Apart from that, he's got to pay back everything that he's earned so far. And um, they even, uh, there, were, there were even fines involved. Uh, all of this matter is, uh, I think it needs to be said, it's all about pre-election matters. And I understand that. Now, beyond that, there still is uh, some story. But that's not my preserve. We've got a lawyer in the house, Libros Oshoma. Barista Oshoma, thank you very much for coming on the program. My pleasure. Indeed. And um, Honorable Ibrahim Oshinawa, political affairs analyst, thank you as well for showing up on the program. It's my great really appreciate you. your coming. Um, so it, it sounds sensational in the sense that, what? A sitting, a sitting senator, uh, it's been determined that he was not the proper candidate, therefore he couldn't have been elected. And not only is he to pack his load, so to speak, as we say locally, uh, he's to pay back everything he's earned. Um, but before uh, you go into anything else, Libros, uh, tell me, is this the end of the matter or is there room for appeal for Senator Bassi Albert Akman? Uh, this is just the beginning. Oh, uh, oh, it's just the beginning. Yeah, this is just the beginning. You mean you can't so, expect the uh, there, Senator to... The Federal High Court um, uh, judgment and so, um, and by the, by the provisions of the rules of uh, um, the Electoral Act, if he appeals within 21 days, um, the judgment will be stayed until mm -hmm. they get to the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. uh, being, but, but, but sir, being I beg your pardon for interrupting you, uh, just so I can understand it. Um, the, 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 the matter is about at the PDP primaries in 2015. Mm. I will, I will, um, he was not, I will it was determined that yes. he was he, not the, he didn't win that primaries and that his name was substituted. That is, that is according to. That's Basi section, Etim, former that's, House of Reps member. That's section 33 of the Electoral Act. Mm -hmm. uh, so you will come to it. Yes. Okay. But okay. Let me no, 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 before you do, I want to, as an opening gambit, let me, let, me, let me also hear from my brother here. And then, you know, just... So, so now, this hasn't happened before, or has it? Of course, it has the, happened. The, the one that hasn't happened before is uh, for a Senator or House of Reps member to be recalled. No, that one hasn't happened before, even yes. though it can happen. Yeah. But, but this one has happened. Yes. It has never happened that the senator will be asked to refund everything he has earned. Oh, oh that part of it. Uh, that part of it has that, never that, that part of it has But been. of course, there has been a lot of pre-election -pre matter. In case of mm. Abia, mm. Uh, you can imagine, you can remember vividly that I quickly issued another certificate um, for uh, <laughs> my dear brother. Forgot Is he name. your dear brother? Uh, well, yes. Uh, well, in Uche a manner Oga. of speaking. Uche Oga. He's in a manner uh, of speaking. Yes. Mm. Uh, he's, he's, I've, I've known him for a while. Mm. And, I quickly, you know, uh, uh, drain to the order of the court. I want to remember my good friend here that uh, it's not, um, for now, if you look at the body of the judgment, I'm not a lawyer, but I click as, as a student of law and I try to follow the rules of the game. And a student of the, polit of yes, the politics. Yes, the politics. So uh, the order is an express order to Heineck, to the leadership of National Assembly. Mm -hmm. And don't be surprised that today, Heineck can call upon that guy to come forward and take the certificate mm. of return indeed yes however let me just point this this is not a, this is not a you're not going to blame my uh, the senator the senator um Basia albert <laughs> you know the dominion of the leadership of pdp in Basi Akman. Akman. because there are two there are two Basi here Basi Akman and Basi etim yes it's so, the one that they're going to ask from the office now let that me, is Basi Akman. that's Basi Akman. albert is albert right Akman. 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 Basi albert Akman, Akman, but for convenience, we're making them Basi Akman and Basi Etim. Basi, Basi Akman. Etim has driven Basi Akman. Akman. <laughs> so, 
Um, at least in this first preliminary stage. Yes, but it happened now. He's a former commissioner. If you look at the trend of political landscape in uh, Akwa Ibo, he never prepared to contest for the senatorial seat. But the leadership was at that time, being a good boy while he was serving as a commissioner, of course, the, 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 the man at the helm of affairs believes that, of course, this is my lawyer boy, you have to come forward. And this is part of what we're talking about PDP. When you don't allow the primary, the lawful process of getting nomination to take place, mm -hmm. and this is what is going to end. So you're not. It shows me that you're not a PDP sympathizer. Of course, I'm no, not. No, you're not. You're not. I, I'm not going to sympathize. No, you're not. I'm not going to sympathize. By saying what you just said, I'm not going to. what we're saying about PDP. I, I'm, not going to, I'm, not going to, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to sympathize them. I'm not going to sympathize okay. them on this ground because, okay. of course, if that guy has been lawfully elected at mm. the primary, mm. why don't you allow the process to go? Okay. Now, as you were saying some things. Our lawyer in the house, I could see that his body language was saying that he was a bit uncomfortable with some of I those things. I wasn't uncomfortable, I was <laughs> laughing because uh, you know, he does not understand the way the law process runs. Mm. So, so don't But he did it. say he's not don't, a lawyer. Yes, then, but like all of us, he keeps he an said, eye on what you guys are up to. He said to. what I don't understand, mm -hmm. that he's not a lawyer. Mm -hmm. It's not about understanding, it's the way the windmill of the... Uh, legal process runs here. And you have to understand and that. So that's what I'm explaining. Let's, you know, educate people. Now, two, that's this, why this is two years wait, after. Wait, 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 wait. Mm, this is two years after that's the why event. It's sad mm -hmm. for me that a pre election matter, this is, not an, this is not a matter for the election tribunal that is even time bound. For me, I had expected that a pre election matter should be determined expeditiously. To, because meaning what quickly quickly okay you you know eh, you this section 33 somebody. was introduced to cure the mischief of illegal substitution by the Obasanjo administration then if you remember we also remember the case of Amechi it went as far as the Supreme Court it was a federal high court matter too that's what I'm telling you it does not end here it has just begun it's not yet to so, guru, uh, well, like they say in Kenya so Senator Basi Akman has that right of appeal and he can yes. go all the way to the Supreme don't Court don't be surprised like lawyers do even the case of uh, Uchioga that you said is your very good friend mm. Uchioga was in OHU the certificate has he been sworn in today the matter is on appeal as the Court of Appeal uh, determine the, the matter. So this could very well go that's that way too. That's what I'm telling you. I am. I, that's what I'm telling you. We need to understand the process so that we know where we should begin to kill some of this mischief. Now, now, now that you've gone there, where we should begin to kill some of this mischief? The, the facts are straightforward to the ordinary guy walking the street. He allegedly, according to what's been presented to the court, did not win the PDP primary. But also, also, if you look at Section 141 of the same Electoral Act. He says that the court, if you did not participate in all the process, the court cannot declare you a winner. And so now, one man had decided. A panel of three at the Court of Appeal would decide. And then if there's room for, they, depending on the way the pendulum swings, the man, the panel of five at the Supreme Court will also, you know, have a bite on the matter. That's why for me, mm -hmm. I think what we should be doing, just the same way we have fixed time yes. for election matters mm. we also for pre-election matters like this we all there should be they should be time bound also so that the court will quickly timelessly deal with them so that you don't have to wait for two years yes to yes. determine well, a representative of uyo senatorial uh, central senatorial uh, uh, zone mm. and then now that just at the trial court then you get to the court of appeal you only god knows how long you're going to wait and so if you do this at the end of the day the court might just be a, 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 a place where you go to weigh house cases and then truly you it will be difficult for people to say justice had been served but that's not the intention of the judicial system is it or no, no it that, that's not. not the intention but, but that's the way have, it's panning out yes but be, when you because of inhibitions yeah you need to address those inhibitions okay I, I, ibrahim um it it would seem that without knowing anything about it lawyers don't like us talking they say you're not learned what going with what uh, the, the Justice Rittman has said uh, about the whole matter, it seems logical to ordinary men, ordinary men walking up and down the street. Exactly, it seems logical. Um, that what what do you think is going to happen? But I, I think I was told that um, we, we have to go to a break. L let me come. Let, let me come back to you. Uh, well, stay with us, please, and we'll include your calls as well.
we're back on air, so we got to conform ourselves now to speaking on air. You can see that a lot of it was going on while we were <laughs> away. Okay, I was going to ask you, Brian. Um, it, it, it seems, as I was saying, that the way Justice Rickman Fatum of the um, High Court, uh, Federal Uyo. High Court, Uno Uyo, has determined this matter now, unless you're a member, unless you're a party to the issues, I imagine, yeah, it stands to reason. You were never elected properly. So we might not know law, but we know that um, since you shouldn't have been there, yeah. then you could not have been elected. Uh, the lawyers have what they, how they refer to ah. that one. Now, it's going to go all the way to the Supreme Court. No doubt about that. Well, unfortunately, no doubt about it. Instead of the man to just go away, JJ, he's going to take it all the way to the Supreme Court, which then brings the question of why, what's this problem? Why, if it's service, it's work, and it was, you were said to not have been elected. This is the man who should be doing the work. Let him go and do the work. But clearly, it's not like that. Like that in, Apparently, in space, there's yeah. a lot more in it that we don't know anything about. Yeah, it's absolutely you, you, you think this is going to go all the way to the Supreme Court? It's and you think that uh, the sitting senator, uh, I don't know if he should still be sitting, seeing as the pronouncement of that judge. If we should see it once the appeal has been filed, of course, it's still a sitting senator. Yes. Once it's within yeah, we, 20 days. I the, agree with my friend here. Um, like I said, I'm not a lawyer. Don't call him your legal friend or your No, no, he's not my legal he's my friend. So uh -huh. I agree with him on the epistem, but I want to point out that the case is going to go up to Supreme Court. You it's think? a pre-election. Going by experience. Time. Going by experience of what has what, happened how we in do. our space. How we do. Mm. You understand? Yes, <laughs> but, this, this is what but, we do. But I want to call your attention to this now. The, the process at which um, Basi Akman mm -hmm. uh, 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 was elected was faulty. Yes. The primary was you know, somebody has been duly elected in the, at the primary, and you believe that you have the party hierarchy, you can change the process on your own. And the guy said, okay, fine. The leadership of the party has decided to change, but how will go to the court? But I can tell you that most lawyers would not allow, of course, if you are looking at this from normal perspective, you should just, okay, it's a service. Okay, I've been a commissioner, maybe I'll wait for 2019 mm -hmm. to come out. But it doesn't he work He will like not that. do that, definitely. No. I can assure you at this point in time, his lawyers are going to be there, Briefing him, yes. the way out and all this, what they are be, going be, to because, do. Because in this judgment, if it should stand the way it is, most people might want it to stand, especially that part about uh, can and just return everything you've ever earned from that National Assembly. That, I want, the, the, that's, that the point, a, that's the point I want to make. That sure. Don't forget that the, the judgment of Federal High Court is going to play a major role at the Court of Appeal. It's going to play a critical role. The see, judge of the, court, the three panel of just, justices at the Court of Appeal will not just throw okay. away. You, 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 the, you, the, you would imagine. Because we have to talk. You see, when we're with lawyers, see, look, let, let us phrase it carefully. We, we, we take lawyers. Say, say, we say, take briefing from them. I know. Who are senior member of the bar. Let the lawyer see, address the point of law. Sure, being senior <laughs> member of the bar. Listen. Yes. The, that's why in some cases you hear the Court of Appeal give a trial judge knocks. They lambaste him. But it's not that wait, they won't wait, pay wait, attention to listen, how he arrived at his conclusion. They might then fault that. Will you listen? As, no, as, don't tell us will you listen. listen. Look, we don't want a super silly. No, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, no, no. Barista <laughs> Libros. It's, it's no need process. to get super silly. No need to get super silly. We have the conversation. Yes, we yes. are. And so, so we're trying to understand it. I have listened to you. Listen to me. It's a process. First and foremost, the notice of appeal that you file. You file your, in filing your notice of appeal, you say the trial judge erred in law here, he erred in facts here. Mm -hmm. You point out the areas you disagree with. Mind you, when the law gives you with one hand, it takes with another one. Section 33 says you cannot substitute. Section 141 says the court cannot pronounce you a winner if you did not participate mm -hmm. in the process. Mm -hmm. So these are two contending sections. And so for the fact that I agree with this, pro this judgment does not mean that every lawyer will agree with it. And so there are some lawyers that will question it and say, no, I disagree. And I want to challenge this process at a higher court. Indeed. Let the court look at it. And the court in, in looking at it, you, the man that is, the appellant is going to, his brief of argument will be to puncture the judgment. Yes. Why the respondent's brief of, of argument will be to endorse you know, and you know find th a way of supporting the judgment. Thank you These very are two, much. two, yeah. two contending arguments. Indeed. Thank and thank so you. when the court in Gentlemen. determining yes. the court in delivering its judgment now, we tell you the areas they agree with and the areas they don't agree yeah. with. If they agree with the entire judgment in delivering their judgment, they will tell you that they appeal. 
the appeal is either disallowed or is sustained because we agree with the, the reasoning of the lower court. If they don't agree, in some cases, they even go, you know, the extra mile to tell you that the trial court was rascally, you know, went on a voyage of his own. And so, it is not in all cases, it's just so, okay, the uh, trial court has determined, and, and so, um, that's why, if you look at in some cases, even election matters, you hear that the trial court gave judgment, the court of appeal gave judgment, but at the Supreme Court, Indeed. the Supreme Court disagreed. Indeed. Please, let me quickly wait, make wait, a very express wait, 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 one, one moment, please. Don't, let, let's keep this sort of, uh, because you see, we have a learned barrister here, and yes. he's helping us out. Yes, he's also lecturing us, but it's to be expected. It's, it's, it's what he does, you know. But he also said in there, he made your point, which is that um, the judge, the upper judge, is going to have to pay attention to how they reach their conclusions at the lower court, including all the prayers that he talked about, and then pronounce himself what he thinks. Yes, yes. Yes, that's what that's yes. what we said. But yes, that's what this we process said. You are, this, but this process is laying out. It's not a new thing in legal in legal in legal in legal, in legal uh, uh, discussion. It's not a the filing of appeal. These are normal norms that all oh, the, the hippest yeah, court is going to look at. Yeah, but the problem I'm not is, disputing the all but the problem this is you're not a lawyer. The problem is you're not a lawyer. But oh, oh, of course you're not a lawyer. Of course I'm not a lawyer, uh -huh. but uh -huh. I can so, I can take I can look at this electoral and study that. I, I have I have done I have done a lot of I hear you. I hear you. Hear you. This is why we will have to endure <laughs> Barrister Libros's lectures because oh. he is a lawyer and he's just taking us through a crash course on how the process of appeal is all about. Exactly. And then know. another thing, eh, this process can be fast-tracked if mm. truly we... You, you know, eh, one thing, if but, it's about service, mm. if it's about service, I, I, I think you like you said, yes. if it's about service, then, you know, one, nobody will even be illegally substituted. But we all know that it's not about service. It's not about serving. It's about to be served. We, we don't know. And, no, we know. Oh. I know that oh, that oh, much. Okay. Because if, if, if not, we won't be where we are politically. You know, if the political environment, irrespective of the party, irrespective of individuals, even till date, we are begging our senators, how much do you earn? And so it's not about serving the people. It's about, I want to be served. Okay. And that's why somebody can be substituted. We have seen this. It, it, and there was a law, a section, to correct the mischief. And But then, that section, immediately the courts stood up to interpret that section in the case of Amechi to say that once you are not... Once you are nominated, you can no longer be substituted, except on the uh, uh, ground, of, ground of death. The same National Assembly quickly inserted Section 141 to say that now this man did not contest for election and the court made him a governor. And so if you did not participate in the process, you cannot be pronounced by the court. If that section <laughs> were not there, yes. Going on appeal will be a waste of time. But since that but, section but you is arrived, there, somebody we, 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 is going to say, you know, look at this section, you know where I we kick, need the you know court where to we make a pronouncement on it. We, we kicked off this conversation, Libras. You, you jumped in with both feet and saying that it's the very, very beginning. Yes. The, yes. So, so it, it's yes. like, it would seem to me that you are more inclined to, this is not going very far from experience that we have. It's probably going to be upturned. That seemed to me to be your position. That experience? No, 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 no. Okay. No. My, my, why I told you this is the beginning. Mm. I have learned not to, not to jump at judgment of court of first instance. Um, as a lawyer, when I know, most especially political cases, when I know that the candidate would want to exhaust all the legal avenues that they have, and they always do. So when a court de decides a matter at the court of first instance, I fold my hands and say, this is round one. Let's wait. And most especially, it is the final pronouncement of the Supreme Court that becomes the position of the law Indeed. on such matters. Indeed. Indeed. And even the, the pronouncement of the, court of, of the, of the uh, uh, High Court, when I get to court, I can't cite it. And so I would have been happy mm. to say, look, mm. this, the court had made okay. a pronouncement, refund all Thank the money. Thank you. You see, you've got to go gently with us. We're not learned. So now that you've said something I can grab hold of, that... Ultimately, this court of first instance, the way that uh, Justice uh, Ritman Fatum has pronounced it now, uh, Li 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 Libros is explaining that it's not as if you can quote that subsequently. If this matter is taken beyond here, you can't really cite it anymore. Uh, the so, judgment? Yes. On federal court? Yes. 
I don't want to. I don't want to make comment on that since it's lecturing because us. Because so he, he said his first instance, there's still the appeal that the Supreme. If I go to, I if I go to, I don't want to make. If I go to a high court tomorrow, can I hear from him? Sorry, Libras, I got to try and hear from him. No, no, you you have the chance to throw light. Otherwise, there's no there's no benefit bringing in an unlearned person as well. We said one learned, one unlearned. So that will end up. Um, you, I, you, you, you are unhappy about... Uh, I, I disagree. Uh, yes. I disagree because the, the judgment of, at least for the beginning court, as he has cited, is definitely going to play a major role at the court he, of appeal. He, he, yes, but, but, but he, I think he explained, at least I understood, that what he's saying is that that is not something you can cite as the position of the law as you can a Supreme Court judgment. Of course, a uh -huh. lot of factors is going to bring in by the defense counsel and the and and, and the other party. Mm -hmm. A lot of things going to play out there. I agree with him that you can't. That would not be a position of the law for now. But in this country, it has happened where a federal high court gave gave out a judgment for in, in the case of Oga and the high comply with the law yeah. immediately. So <laughs> I'm just trying to Explain. call his attention to mm. what has happened. Mm. It's not. I, I, I'm not the one. I hear you. It's a general issue. I, I got to go on a break uh, because the law in our beloved countries. Sometimes you wonder if it is different from the law in the UK, uh, seeing as similar situations have radically different results. It is different implementation results. of the laws. That's what's different. Okay, stay with us, please. I'll be right back. Um, well, well, here we are. This, this, this has become a very, very hot conversation. It's continuing behind the scenes, and we're back here. And I, I believe, do we have a smile on our faces? Yes, we, we got a smile on one of the faces. We still need one more. We got two smiles, so we're going to continue. <laughs> now, Ibrahim, uh, it, it's some, sort of heated because, um, you know, the law is to one side. Uh, and then we, the society, because I always say these lawyers and the judges and the whole court system, they don't make these pronouncements for themselves. They make it for the better running of society. And we've all agreed that, look, whatever they come up with, uh, we, we, all got to be, uh, we all got to abide by it. So I think that's what's going on here. Uh, but the lawyers, oftentimes I have noticed, my experience, is that because of their superior knowledge about, uh, hey, this is just ground one, ground one or ground zero, there is still the first floor, there's still the second floor, and then the third floor. Uh, they, they can't understand when we take very, very, very seriously what a federal court judge has pronounced. So I would just appeal to lawyers to be gentle with us uh, because we, we, we think uh, uh, justice of the high court is not to be taken lightly. But you say not taking them lightly is one thing, uh, but understanding that there's still much more meat on the bone uh, is another. And I think that was what you were trying to say. Exactly. So we're friends again. There's a phone call. Um, uh, Mr. George from Ikeja, good morning, sir. Good morning, Uncle Yori. Thank you for calling in. Uncle Yori, I, with due respect to the good lawyers in Nigeria, I think the lawyers have become our problem. In the past, the law was that if somebody is declared to be the winner or somebody uh, was wrongly sworn in and the court says uh, the right person should be sworn in, it, it is immediately carried out until the other person is able to win a case in the appeal court or in the uh, court processes. But it was the lawyer that bamboozled lawmakers to change that law, that until it gets to the Supreme Court, the, matter, the, the, the person that was adjourned to be the winner or should not be sworn in. Mm -hmm. That is one of the cases that is behind. They make it look, with due respect to uh, liberals, I don't agree with this line of argument. The laws were not made for lawyers. The laws were made for human beings. And the human beings have a duty to understand what the laws are and to make impute as to what they, how they want the laws to be applied to them. You don't bamboozle people to think that don't know anything yet. Yes. The laws, they are subject to the laws. All, all right then. It is not so. So please, okay. let it be, be that we have a right to know what the laws are and the right to decide how the law that affects us should Indeed. be made. 
Th thank you very much, uh, Mr. George. Um, I guess um, a point well taken. Um, when a professional is a professional, he's in a professional mode, and I think adjusting down to the regular, because the point I made is that lawyers don't make the, the, uh, it's the court system, and they don't do it for themselves. They do it for all of us well, in can society. I quickly, can I quickly and when we don't understand, something. we need to know. Lawyers don't make law. No, they don't. The legislatures make laws. Yes. And when these laws are made, lawyers need to point out some of the loopholes for you, so that when you are agitating for, you know, amendment of these laws, you know the areas to focus on. Okay. Because what I just, I explained something. I said, before now, you didn't have section 141. The lawyers did not, were not the one that included section 141. In fact, when the Supreme Court decided that Amici's case, we were all happy. And we said, look, a new vista had been opened in our legal jurisprudence. And what did we see? Boom. The National Assembly came and amended and said, look, if you did not participate in all the process. And now okay. you have lawyers contending. Okay. The people were silent. So that, that, that And now when is, it comes, we, we, you, we now take give, that point. you now give, you created, what you have done, you have created a loophole for some politicians to also explore. Okay. But, but, but now, uh, um, uh, Reverend Dominic, good morning. It's been a while, Reverend. Oh, uh, Reverend Dominic that. went to China and uh, <laughs> Korea. <laughs> Honestly, I want to agree with the, the barrister, Oshomo. The issue is not about the lawyers. The issue is about the law. Just like election process, you know, uh, trials. The law has made it that it will end 90 days or two or 300 days. So everyone abide with the law. What the barrister is saying here is not about him, not the lawyers. It's about the law. How do we manage you know, post-election matters. Are we going to give it a bench? It will end in 20 days, it will end in 30 days. For, for the governance matter, for governance issue, for governance to have a, a, a human face, look at this aspect <laughs> now. How is this man going to play back for two years? He, at least he went to Abuja. He went for city. He ate the hotel. He went down with his eggs. How could you ask him to play back? If you can just take it to the first place, he has rendered services. If, we, if that judgment stands in a free court, it would be a good thing. They have to pay back. The money is better. I mean, so we are assuming to take over. Have to pay back because they were in governance for two, three years before the law changes. But those ones do not pay back. So I'm not arguing about anything here. Mm. Let's have a ceiling to our election processes for good governance. And I think it's what the lawyer is arguing. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, the lawyer is arguing what he's arguing. We understand it. Ibrahim, um, I think you and I, even the lawyer himself, he's on the side of, look, laws are made for good running of society, yes, uh, not for the exclusive club of barristers and attorneys. They're just a segment of the society. So I understand that's where we're coming from. But nevertheless, we still have to abide by these rules. We can't come up with our own societal rules. There are legal rules. And I think this is where uh, sometimes uh, the, the logicality of society's position is infallible. But then the law will come and explain how actually that, 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 that thing that cannot be done, actually in this instance it could have been done. Uh, so that's, that's the law for you. And that's the way it works. And I think that's the part that you were trying to bring out. When, 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 when people say that um, it's not about the law, it's, a, it's not about lawyers, it's about the law, mm, I say, okay, oh. it is somebody who went and advised uh, Mr. Andrew the other time to turn around and say, by the way, that thing is my money. No, that, that could not have come from any ordinary human being. Of course. It would have come from a legal mind, of, I imagine. Of say, course. We can fight it. Of course. So first of all, withdraw all these recriminations and... That was speculation on my part, but... Uh, of course, I, I, I am not going to be in contentious discussion about legal issue with liberals. But of course, I'm a sound investment analyst decades. Sure. So I'm not a dummy. No, so no of course nobody I will know, suggest it. What I'm trying to say is, he will tell us law. I will tell you about the marriage between politics and law. Okay, don't because even worry about it. as a politician, yes, yes. we need you sure. to do a lot of things. Sure. And you've I've, been a politician. I've you've been worked, a politician. you've, you've served in government. Yes. So I, I understand that. So I need you to uh, enlighten us. Of yes. course, yes. even at a case that I know that I'm losing out, mm -hmm. I will tell you that liberals, please, come. 
Why are we having drinks? Not you liberals, tell so. me. Not, not this liberals. You understand? I understand you. Of course. If not you, but a no, lot of No, we're talking players. about... You, you can you, imagine you're and do. About, gentlemen, let's keep this. You're talking no, about briefing. You're talking yeah, about I briefing. Agree, I agree. You're talking I about agree. briefing. I'm talking I about briefing. Yeah, that's yeah. all. You yes. understand? Oh, if you gentlemen. say he's not liberals, of course a lot of lawyers can, can be no. caught up. <laughs> yes, yes. And do their job. And that's what the other guy is telling you. Come in, Apostle Diamond. I need you at this stage. I'm listening. Go ahead, Pastor yeah. Apostle Diamond. Thank you. Yeah. Good morning, Chief Yori. Uh, good morning, Apostle. <laughs> yeah. You see liberals, eh? And you know what? You can let them argue very well. <laughs> and it's quite interesting. Ah, I should have brought just one, either of them. Ninja Delta one. Odudu are one. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a serious matter here. The yeah, judge actually serious. ordered that return all the money you have earned. It's a very serious matter. Let me tell you, from inception of this country, the creation of this country, our, the lawyers have been a problem. When the military were in power, they, they are legal draftsmen that drafted a lot of decrees. Decrees are meant for the animals in the bush camp, not for human beings. And they gave it to us. And we swallowed it. With, and up to today, that enactment of those decrees is now... Uh, uh, being uh, brought about uh, well, like a uh, uh, sort of act, parliamentary act and that sort of thing. For goodness sake, mm. let our lawyers come to a consensus. How can we move this country forward as far as legal issue is concerned? Okay, but the judicial issue also help matters. The yeah. judicial very good. the problem we have in this country. Indeed. Thank you very and much, God Apostle. Help us, and God will allow this country to grow more than what we are saying in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 We say amen to that. Uh, I think the point, Apostle, is that, um, well, lawyers, especially those that own chambers, they are lawyers, but they are also businessmen. The chambers are businesses. Yes. There might, there yes. might be that all sorts of ethical, ethical guidelines. <laughs> but <laughs> it's a business, first and foremost. Yeah, but, but there are rules to the game. That's I mean, why I said that not is why I said guidelines. They will bend the rules. They, no, no, no. Wait, uh, quickly. Uh, they will bend it. You also, we also need, that's why for me, the NJC and the NBA need to do more, much sure, more. Sure. And that's why I told you the difference between the UK and Nigeria is implementation of the law. Are you aware that a lawyer was jailed alongside Ibori for advising Ibori wrongly? Mm -hmm. But here... I didn't know that. But oh, 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 you're you, talking about yes. the, uh, the British lawyer? Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, 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 the but British here, lawyer. But here, that lawyer would have smiled to the bank with millions. Mm. And, and so that's why... You will see. So you don't agree that lawyers are part of our problem here? They are. They are. Oh, I told oh. You, see, let me take uh, Mr. To now, Hassan. To now use a blanket in no, generalization. That no, I disagree no. with. No, that's why I can't sit down here and tell you that. that. That's why Mr. George started by saying without prejudice, something about uh, to, to, to the good lawyers. Uh, unfortunately, the word good in there suggests another word that I don't want to use. But uh, Mr. Hassan, good morning, sir. Good morning, Mr. Yori. Thank you for calling in. Good morning to gentlemen. Yes. Uh, Emphasis on gentle. Mr. <laughs> Today, I see you appearing as a diplomatic anchor man. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to you. Um, let us go. Let me just go straight to the point. You see, this issue of lawyers and judges is never a new thing. It's, a, it's, it's, an, it's an information in our domain, in the domain of Nigerians. You, can you imagine a situation where a lawyer, you know, misleads his clients and collide with the second lawyer to defeat his client in the court of law? Hmm. Can you imagine? No, that's like, that, that, that's like throwing a match. That's like throwing a boxing match or a football match. Yeah. It can be done. And it's like match, match fixing. Yeah. You understand? You see, um, let us get to understand one thing. But I just wanted you to quickly say, not being a lawyer, that lo lo Nigerian lawyers don't do that. Uh, they do it. Law, law, well, law is I've been corrected Mr. here. Yari, I've been corrected. Mr. The lawyer Yari, here has corrected me that Nigerian lawyers know, do you know, that. You know, you, know, you know what? You see, Mr. Yari, let us say the truth and shame the devil. You see, lawyers or no lawyers, lawyers and judges are part of Nigerian society. And they reflect the society. But they are supposed to be the people changing the society positively. In the law, there is a provision in the law whereby if you go to a lawyer with a bad case, it's on him to advise you accordingly that you are having a bad case. 
and it will advise you to go. Because of the monetary game attached to it, you see them following up a case. Also add, because there are no repercussions. You see, our, our, the, the, some judges or some, some justices in Nigeria came up with some reforms. Because there are some reforms that you don't need to go to National Assembly. You do it within the system. Like uh, Justice Dair Mustafa. You see, some of the lawyers, they play on the game of, of technicalities and make sure the, 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 the guilty goes free. Um, uh, oh, well, thank you very much, Mr. Hassan. I think um, we, we got that. Let me quickly go on a break before we get reactions to that. Welcome back. It's, it's a very hot one, sort of, uh, today. But Mr. Okwe Odu, calling in from Mushi, is on the line. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Barayori. Good morning, sir. Uh, I want to comment the two speakers there. Sure. And yourself. You see, the problem we are facing in this country today is our legislators. Oh, legislators. At least you've given the lawyers a break. It's not the lawyers, it's the legislators. I'm saying the legislations, the legislations, because for the lawyers, they will only practice from whatever comes out as our laws. But you see, for our legislators to go to uh, section 41 has been quoted by our brothers there. Yeah? Mm -hmm. If somebody has, I, I disagree that the man that has gone for primary has not participated in an election. Because if he has not been deprived, he should have been the right person to go and contest as a senator. But because the party had used their own uh, uh, weapon on him to say, okay, go and sit down, this is the man we want to go, he has participated. So if the cause will help us, uh, it would be better for us to get good judgment from all these uh, uh, outcomes. Indeed. Thank, thank, thank you very much, sir. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Kweudu, for calling in. And, and this, well, Mr. Kweudu, uh, Kweudu didn't uh, introduce himself as a lawyer. Uh, but again, going by convention of courts through the ages have been helping us organize society uh, and good governance. He, he says uh, the court just needs to sort this out for us. Uh, but the technicality is there. The man who won the election did not go through the primaries. That's going to be a hurdle that it will take the appeal court and the Supreme Court to pronounce upon. That I think that's where most people, being ordinary members of society, will think it's not an easy job, but let's see how it goes. Yes. Uh, we, we are looking forward to that. I want to speak more on politics now, at least for us to... And relate it especially to this case to of case. Senator Bassi Albert Ackman, being ousted purportedly by former House of Reps uh, Uyo member Basi Etim. You know, both of them, they are in the system together. While he was serving as a former commissioner in Akwa Ibom, the other guy is in the House of Reps, you know, doing the legislative business. I can tell you, like what uh, Mr. Okpeldu said, that uh, there is no way, there is no way the party machinery, maybe maybe the other guy, um, I forgot his name, Bassi something, the other Bassi guy, Etim. Bassi uh, Etim. Ba Bassi maybe, Etim. maybe he has committed one atrocity against the PDP leadership in the state. That's why they have to that's, change it. That's family affairs. That's family affairs. But the bar, uh, Etim now said, okay, it's a family affair. Me, I'm going to take this Not to the law court. But what I'm trying to point out, you, you mentioned something about Buhari saying, it's greatest fear. So he's disappointed that the judiciary hasn't brought the full weight that it has to bear you know, on if, our society. If executive, I have served in an executive capacity. If you push too much on the, on the judiciary, the lawyers, the MBAs will tell you that this is the beginning of um, dictatorship because you are trying to suppress them. There are some laws, there are some laws. Even Professor Yemi Oshibadu, he, 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 he cited uh, that he has... He, he, he as Attorney General has, in Lagos has, State. Attorney General in Lagos State. Yes, he has done fantastically well in Lagos State. But I can assure you that because of the leadership at the time then, 
the leadership are in consonance with whatever is about or he wanted to do us at that time. They are, they, of course, now you can imagine that the, the, the National Assembly is of PDP and APC. If you push too much with the, with the, um, with the judiciary, Definitely, I'm telling you, the society but, is going uh, to what, what is pushing too much uh, about justice? Justice is justice. The law is the law. If you use the law to demand justice, the judge will look at the two, this demand, the law, what it allows. So how can you push too much it's on easy, that? It's easy to sit down here and say, okay, I want to send this to the National Assembly for ratification. This law, please. Of course, there has to be public hearing, and MBA are going to be part of this. Okay. And I can tell you that that is okay. where you start... Oh, oh, opinions, oh, okay. uh, advising the opposition I, I didn't want from to the interrupt lawyers. you, but uh, and the person who bought the cost of all of that was uh, Yakub. Uh, good morning, Yakubu. <laughs> Thank you very much for bearing the cost of waiting. <laughs> I understand, sir. Good morning, Chief Yori. Good morning, just Yori. Good morning, Yori. Good morning, Yori. Good morning, Yori. It's not Oshoma, Leo. It's, 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 it's Libros Oshoma. Libros, yes. Thank you for correction. Chief Yori, you see, uh, the lawyer judge in the studio have already said it all. You know why we are in this kind of problem we find ourselves? You see, lawyer, lawyer will see a case that we are that he knows quite all right when we go to court of law, we are going to lose the case. But because of the monetary aspect of it, he will tell you, say, don't worry, we are going to win the case. And then he tell me, he knows that the case will not be won in the court. You know why? He says that when they give the judgment, final judgment on that case, the lawyer that, uh, that advised you wrongly, they will punish the lawyer. And then the lawyer will just collect the money and go free, and then he will be out the consequences. That is where we see the kind of the case. See, if you are now that the court said the other man in the Senate should facet the issue, and mm. then allow the second person that challenged the case in the court to continue, I think I quite agree with the court, with the lawyer do that. When the guy go for the appeal, you start to push to relief because why is this a real guy? They have the person to challenge the case in the court to, to, to take over the seat and then the guy is already in that seat. Why why is the government is coming back to him that he's already a statistical winner of the case? Are you going to tell the that guy to continue and at what go to happen? I think for me, they should allow the case to go on. When the appeal is to go on, the subsequent still remains. And then the only thing is that when the final judgment is coming up, the person should refund all the money that are already collected from the Senate and the, all the allowances should be returned back to the, uh, the right to owner. Thanks okay. and God bless you. Thank you very much, uh, you know, uh, thank you very much, Yakub. Uh, in fact, I can tell you from here, as you were speaking, our in-house barrister was nodding in agreement to quite a lot of the points you made. Therefore, I'm not going to go to him again. No, 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 ah, no, no. no. Ah, ah, you were nodding. <laughs> no, I needed to quickly, you know, marry okay, the, quick, the two issues okay, raised quickly. by Alaji Yakub and. Um, He's not. Uh, a, he doesn't. He doesn't cite himself as an Alaji. Just okay. Yakub. And then um, uh, Pastor Diamond. Uh, Apostle Diamond. Apostle Diamond. What we should be praying our higher court to do now is to reconcile section 33 and section 141. Apostle Diamond cited a very germane and important issue that we can plead the court because once the court makes a pronouncement on this position, it becomes the law. That look, for the fact that the man was denied to going through the process, he had gone through primaries, that should be seen as going through a process of election. And so once the court says, look, if you go through primaries, you qualify also for to reap the dividend of section 141, he becomes the position of the law. Mm. And so this issue of, because let me tell you why most of them, they substitute illegally and they win election, they know that they will drag the matter in court using some lawyers to do it. And then they, what they are praying for, they will pray that by virtue of section 141, that the court should ask for a re-election. Mm. And being that they, have, they are already there, so if they, they know that if they go to another election, they probably would want to manipulate their way. As an aside, so, uh, some, something, something else came from one of our correspondents, um, in, uh, people talking to us on the phone, uh, which is that uh, sometimes lawyers throw a match, so to speak. And yes. uh, I, I was going to say that, wait a minute, no. no. Members of the noble profession don't do that. You won't, and you, you just cut me short by saying they do, they, they do, do, they do, they do. See, uh, we are, so, so you could have a situation where you, you, you've engaged you. a lawyer, you've briefed a lawyer, yes. and it could be working with you the enemy. You compromise your case. We have seen situations where lawyers will intentionally compromise, intentionally compromise cases because of the game. That is why 
in the society, we assume that once you are a lawyer, you are noble. Okay. Uh, once you are uh, honorable Mr. member, you are honorable. You are honorable. Mr. Sodik no. in we should uh, set standards uh, Jigawa. For good morning, Mr. Sodik in Jigawa. Uncle Ori, good morning. Good morning, sir. And good morning to the two gentlemen in your studio. Good morning, sir. I've been listening to them extensively and they've spoken very well. So, Uncle Ori, the problem is today's lawyers we're having, they don't practice their law with passionate, as in they are not being passionate about their profession. So at the point, they are even the ones that are making our judges, that corrupting our judges, because without being there making the move, the judges will not oblige to what they are doing. So initially, what the SSS started reading on some judges, what I expected was the next, they should go to the lawyers, so that at least it will give them a weakening call that, yes, this is a new government we're having, a less change. <laughs> if they don't change seriously, I think we are going to nowhere. Okay. The it, lawyers probably are the last hope of the masses. Uh, and with the way they are behaving now, there's nothing fruitful that's coming up from them. So indeed. they should just try and adjust. They are one of our major problems. Thank Th you very much. Th thank you very much, uh, Mr. Sadiq, for calling in. Um, that if we want to, if I understood Mr. Sadiq, in addition to all the other places that uh, we have trained our sites on, don't forget the lawyers, because the lawyers are the beginning of everything. And he even went as far as saying that without a lawyer, he's not going to, you can't find a, a, corrupt, a, a corrupt judge. Ah. Those are areas that um, I don't, no, no, no. But no, are I beyond the scope this, of this program. I agree with him. If yeah, but beyond the scope of this program. The allegation of bribery against a judge yes. is a senior lawyer who is a conveyor bed. Justice Kayode Shaw, blessed memory, shouted that much. Mm -hmm. Shouted that much that, that the way we it, are going because people can walk up to a judge and compromise the judge directly. Exactly, we are that the way we are going. We are gradually creating billionaire okay. lawyers and billionaire judges. Yes. But what society does is to ensure that the bodies that are statutory responsible to check in these people is up to date Fine. with their enforcement of we'll, rules. We'll, we'll, Otherwise, we've completely run out of time. Artists like MBA, I'm expecting MBA to do more. Yes. People, of course, with the leadership of MBA to do more. Mm. I can tell you, let, this is my closing remark. Majorly, you, I'm not going to blame any other of the government about all the issues that have been happening, except the lawyers okay. who will tell you go this way, and tomorrow they will come and say this. But way. one thing and we've le thank you very much. One thing we've learned from this conversation this morning, if we didn't know it before, uh, was that, as Liberal said, it could easily be just the beginning, because oh. there are structures in place so that that man, the you know, so that uh, Senator Bless uh, uh, Bassi Albert Akman can have his day in court and, you know, beyond all reasonable doubt. So it, it looks like former House of Reps member uh, Bassi uh, Etim will have to, you know, take it easy a bit till this whole thing. But the problem with that is that God knows how long all of that will take. Don't answer. We don't have the time. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Barista Libros Oshoma and uh, Honorable Ibrahim Oshinawa. We'll be back tomorrow, God willing, with a fresh edition. I am Yori Folani. Bye-bye for now.